showing you how to open your NAT on your PS4 or Xbox. Okay, NAT stands for Network Address Translation. So first off, if you've got a closed or strict NAT, uh, or moderate, um, this will help you. It's simple, it takes five minutes. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is um, to verify you've got a closed NAT or a strict NAT or a moderate NAT, you want to go to um, open up your PlayStation or Xbox and navigate to network settings. Okay, I'm using um, PS4 Remote Play to demonstrate the so I can rec uh, record the screen. So go down to network settings. Okay, and you'll notice there we have our IP address and our um, DNS gateway. These are the two numbers we're going to need for port forwarding through your router. Okay, so get a notepad or a pencil and jot these numbers down. Right there is your IP address of your PlayStation or Xbox. That's the number we need for your local network. We'll be port forwarding all traffic on, on a certain port to that local IP address. Therefore, which helps network address translation and what that means is that if you've got more than one device on your home network the router needs to know what device asked for what information so we'll be telling it now to open ports to allow all traffic to it okay so you write down the IP address of your PlayStation or Xbox and the default gateway Okay, open up a web browser and input the second IP address, the DNS gateway, or gateway, uh, server gateway. Open up your router's page from that IP address. Navigate down to advanced. I'll just show you there, I've got NAT type 2, which is moderate. Moderate means in the middle, which means it allows some traffic, but not all. Which, which is not no good for multiplayer games because you can't pair with your friends. So navigate on the web page that we just opened up to advanced and look for port forwarding or DMZ. DMZ is demilitarized zone. Okay, so now what we want to do is copy up the first IP address of your PlayStation or Xbox into the private IP address field. Okay, next, you won't be able to find a device name there, you might be able to, my router doesn't, like, hasn't um, picked up a device name, that doesn't matter. Okay, so put the IP address in, leave the type as both, that's UDP and TCP, set the port range to 3074 and 3074 in the second box that opens up that port now write a comment so you know what it is so I'll call this um, Black Ops 3 and this set A add okay that's opened up that portal hasn't yet but it's told it to configure it do the same again and put your IP address to your PlayStation or Xbox put the port this time as 3075 on both fields and then give it another comment to name it then add and I'm just quickly going to open up another port for Kali Linux which is a, another tutorial I'm doing so I'll do that at the same time so this third one you won't need to do, you only need two, the 3074 and the 3075 I'll quickly just finish this and we're nearly complete Okay, let's quickly click add. Okay, so now you've in, in, in injected the um, port forwarding rules. Okay, now we need to apply it to the modem. So click save settings and you'll need to restart the modem router. So restart that. It'll take about a minute. Okay, the modem's restarting. 
the router okay so once you've done this you'll be able to have an open net type which is what you want for gaming as you'll be able to pair with multiplayer games join groups and, and chat and as well as host okay so the route router's restarted obviously while the router's restarted I can't use the PS4 remote play to show you the screen so once that finishes I'll show you the new settings have, have been updated it'll take about a minute this also works on PS3 and this is permanent opening so you want like don't have to do this once okay so the router's restarted now you need to restart your PlayStation to take the system wide settings into effect so we can minimize that now now restart your PlayStation or Xbox mine is restarting at the moment As soon as it comes back um, online and and running again I'll um, put the PS4 remote play to show you the new settings have been applied while you take watching this video and we're waiting right now take the time to hit subscribe and like it really helps my channel okay so now the PlayStation is restarted restarting I'm sorry to say won't be much longer this process takes around about eight minutes not to restart the Sony but to complete the port forwarding and and the restarting of the router and the s s console okay so now mine's fully restarted I'll just quickly pair remote play with it so that you can see the screen remembering that I had a moderate NAT type which is NAT type 2 to begin with it doesn't matter if you was moderate or strict to start with this will open it up what this does is say say for example if you've got three people living in your house and the mailman comes to deliver mail well he, he doesn't know whose mail is delivered to who so that's why a name um, on the mail um, tells the, the mailman who the mail belongs to well, that's the same as what this NAT does for a network it's a network address translation it knows which which device wants the mail or the or which in our case the internet traffic okay so I, I'm I was had a moderate NAT type which was hard for me to play Black Ops 3 on PS4 so I've done that and this is the easiest way to show you how to open a NAT type so once this Black Ops 3 reloads I'll show you now the new NAT type settings that we have be for any game though any game that uses net okay push X to go connecting to online services now it's directing the traffic to the to the um, console whereas before the mailman was getting to the door and he was not knowing where to take the mail to okay so now you see down the bottom I've got NAT type open it was moderate now it's open that's permanent hope this helped please rate like and subscribe leave a comment if you're stuck I'll help you it's pretty simple though thanks for watching I'm hack mods